We're entering frost season here in Louisville. While some of our rural communities have already seen a few frosts, Louisville's average first frost and freeze is later because of how urbanized the city is, something that holds true for most cities in the United States. On average, Louisville experiences its first frost right before Halloween around October 25th, with its first freeze coming the first week of November. There are two types of frost, depositional, also known as white or hoarfrost, and frozen dew. Let's find out how it works. In order for frost to form, ground temperatures need to be at or below freezing, but sometimes the air temperature is above freezing, let's say around 36 degrees. As the temperatures fall overnight, colder air will sink to the ground because it's more dense. So even though the air temperature might be above freezing, the ground temperature can be below freezing. Next, there needs to be moisture in the air and on the ground. This is when the dew point, the temperature the air must cool to to condense water vapor, comes into play. At the temperature and dew point are at freezing, water molecules can then freeze on a surface when they come in contact with something that's frozen, forming frost. If the dew point is below freezing, water vapor can go directly from the gaseous to solid state. That is the depositional frost I mentioned. The most favorable conditions for frost include clear skies overnight, light winds, temperatures in the 30s, and a high enough moisture content. Now you know how frost forms. With the First Alert Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Alden German.